you are not alone. Kamusta po? How are you? Katanungang nagpapagaan sa aking kalooban. Bukod sa maigpit na yakap ng aking asawa at mga anak, idagdag pang maraming mensahe ng pakikiramay na naipaabot at the time I posted the passing of my beloved without mother. The same kind of feeling of loss I felt 17 years ago when I lost my father due to a deadly disease. Literally, I am the lone and only child of my late parents. At ngayon lang totally nag-sink in sa akin. Uli lang lubos na pala talaga ako. On the contrary, I felt and realized I am not alone. In its truest meaning, a treasure, a fortune I have been graced and blessed with. It has been more than a month of dealing with the loss of my mother dear, grieving, a reflection of a lost connection with my loved one who have been with me since time immemorial, a loss which seems to not lessen. Its aftermath may last a lifetime. Indeed, my grief is real because my loss is real. A loss with its own imprint, distinct and unique as my mother. My mother who have been with me, with my side, in my entire life. Ang aking kaisa-isang nanay. Sa pagpanaw ng aking nanay, lumalim ang pagkilala ko sa connection na meron kami sa isa't isa. As I gaze in her lying in the casket, taking one last look at her, I've come to realize all that she did for me and for the family. I've come to appreciate better the challenges she has gone through. And I have gained new per- perspectives in my life, realizing each and every perfectly drawn flaws and imperfections, as well as the graces and blessings I have in my life. As I reflect on the memory of my mother, I am at the beginning of another journey called grief. A process which is not typically or typical. It is an individualized journey. At the beginning, I was paralyzed and shocked. Sinanay, madaming pagkakataong lumaban sa buhay. Maraming krisis na hinarap at na-survive. Then gradually, reality sinks in. She is not coming back. This time, she did not make it. Habang tinatanggap ko ang katotohanan at tinatanong ko sa aking sarili, could anything have prevented it? Unknowingly, I was at the beginning of my healing process. I become stronger and denial starts to fade. But as I proceed, all the feelings I have been denying begin to surface. I questioned myself, have I done all I can for my mother? I start to experience the feelings of guilt. But then I realized I shouldn't be angry on myself because me and my nanay have lived a purposeful, challenge yet fulfilled and rewarded life. Ang mahigit walong dekadang buhay nakapag-celebrate pa nga ng ikaapat na pong uh, 84th birthday niya sa gitna ng pandemya. Ay hindi maitatangging punong-puno ng challenges, serenity at reward. Bagamat hindi generous sa words of appreciation ng nanay noong siya ay nabubuhay, I know, deep in her heart, she is a proud and fulfilled parent and grandparent. Nasaksihan ni nanay ang ups and downs ng kanyang kaisa-isang anak. 
Me and my scaffolds and triumphs. Me and my mistakes and learnings in life. Me and my family struggles and accomplishments. Na hindi namin mararating without her. Untiring support for the family. With her passing, the more I realized how fortunate I am despite of my perfectly imperfect life. In more than half of her life with me, walang panghihinayang at pagsisisi. Dahil nasuklian ko at ng aking pamilya ang kanyang pagsasakripisyo. Noong panahong kaya pa niyang mag-travel at mag-picture-picture na kanyang kinagigiliwan. Marahil ito ang dahilan kung bakit hindi ako dumaan sa stage of bargaining. At hindi ko naisip ang what if and if only statements. Although, the reality is, my dear mother is truly gone. I've been through the phase of empty feelings. The realization that my mother did not get better this time and she is not coming back. It enters my life on a deeper level. Paradoxically, ito pala yung stage where I start to heal. As I allow the sadness and emptiness to cleanse me, and I explored my loss in its entirety. For oh, the days after, I am now on the stage of accepting the reality that Nana is physically gone. A permanent new reality that my Nana was ready for her life to be over. Yet my life is still continues. And it is time for me and my family to heal. Learn to live with the death and begin to live within the new norm. Naiintindihan ko na ngayon. Each of us grieves differently. One may grieve with many tears and the other with none. I may have grieved differently the way others may have. But from my perspective, it is the right way. All I know is, I also need compassion for myself and those around me. I may have suffered a great loss in life, one that has shaken me to the core, but life has to continue. A life I have to continue in honor of my nanai, who would be much happier to see to see me navigate this journey called life with me being the better version of myself every day. As I heal, my family heals. I learn who I am and who my nana was in my life. It's strange, but as I move through grief, Healing brings me closer to the person I loved, and new relationship begins, and learn to live with a loss. The end of a life, the same life which gave me life, is now a memory, buried, buried so deep in my heart, and dwells deep in my soul. New relationship, not physical but one that resides in my heart as I continue to remember Nanai, think of her and love her for the rest of my life until we meet again. Little by little, I have put my loss into perspective, learning how to remember my beloved Nanai and commemorate the loss. In the days to come, as time passes by, I know it may still hurt, but in time, it will hurt less frequently. 
Yet all that my nanay was, all the love we shared, and the relationship we had, is everlasting. And no, I can never replace her. I can strengthen my family connections as I find new and deeper meaning in our existing relationships. Me and my family will begin to live again. But we cannot do so until we have given grief each time. Indeed, there is time for everything under the sun. A time to sow and a time to reap. A time to cry and a time to laugh. Now is the time for grieving and healing. Ang patotoong ito ay handog at ibinabahagi ko sa lahat ng dumadaan sa kaparehas na sitwasyon. Iba-iba ang dahilan ng pagkawala ng ating mga mahal sa buhay. Iba-iba din ang ating pamamaraan kung paano harapin ang ating mga pinagdadaanan. Pero iisa lang ang katotohanan. We are not alone. You are not alone. I am not alone. So I say, amidst the chaos, let us always find the silver linings. Let us keep our faith. Mayawa ang Diyos, sabi nga nila.